Hi, uh, I'm Dr. Balvinder Singh. I'm a research fellow in Department of Neurology at Mayo Clinic, uh, Rochester, Minnesota. The title of our manuscript is Endovascular Therapy for Acute Ischemic Stroke, uh, a Systematic Review and Meta-Analysis. And this will be coming in an uh, upcoming issue of Mayo Clinic Proceedings. There's a considerable amount of controversy regarding the use of endovascular therapy for an uh, acute ischemic stroke patient. Recently, in February, three multi-center trials were published in New England Journal of Medicine, uh, looking into the uh, efficacy of endovascular therapy for acute ischemic stroke patient. Uh, so we decided to uh, consolidate the evidence, and on the basis of the previous study, we decided to do a systematic review and meta-analysis. So the main result of our, in our study is that the endovascular therapy is not superior to IV thrombolysis or IV TPA as it is most commonly known as in treating acute ischemic stroke patient. However, in severe stroke patient, endovascular therapy showed improved outcome as compared to uh, IV thrombolysis, but the results has to be interpreted with caution due to smaller sample size in this subgroup. So there's a need for further randomized controlled trials which look into this uh, severe or high risk group. Time from stroke onset to intervention is most important. As we, uh, as in the previous uh, reanalyzed study in Europe, they showed that the, if the patient came in first 210 minutes or first three and a half hours, the outcome was almost 93 percent. And in the recently published uh, IMS3 trials, we, uh, they showed that the time from groin puncture to recanalization was 41 minutes. So if you combine the results of these two studies, we can easily see that if the patient or the whole procedure can be endovascular therapy can be done in three or three and a half hours, so the outcome would be much better as compared to what we have now. So for, for patient perspective, the it's most important finding is, most important thing is that they should recognize the symptom of stroke and as soon as they recognize, they should call ER, they call 911 and come immediately to ER and that would uh, decrease the picture to puncture time and that might be able to decrease or improve the survival in the patients. So the next step for this line of research is to develop system based research which could evaluate and eliminate the factors which delays the picture to puncture time or when the patient comes to ER and when we give them the endovascular therapy. So if we can find the factors which we can deal uh, which help in preventing the delay that would be the most important aspect of our future research. So the takeaway message of our systematic review and meta-analysis is that on the basis of current evidence, endovascular therapy is not superior to IV thrombolysis or IV TPA in treating acute ischemic patients. However, in a subset of patients, a subset of severe stroke patients, we uh, saw that endovascular therapy may be or it may have a better outcome as compared to IV TPA, but due to the smaller sample size in this group, the finding has to be taken with caution and there's a need for further randomized controlled trials in this high risk group. Thank you. We hope you benefited from this presentation based on the content of Mayo Clinic proceedings. Our journal's mission is to promote the best interests of patients by advancing the knowledge and professionalism of the physician community. If you're interested in more information about Mayo Clinic proceedings, visit our website at www.mayoclinicproceedings.org. There you will find additional videos on our YouTube channel, and you can follow us on Twitter. For more information on healthcare at Mayo Clinic, please visit www.mayoclinic.org. This video content is copyrighted by Mayo Foundation for Medical Education and Research.